So how do you make a screencast? That's the point of this video. The first step in doing a screencast is to open up a presentation. So I'm going to use PowerPoint, lots of uh, software that works like this, but I'm just going to open up a PowerPoint. Uh, here's a, uh, a presentation I did on flipped learning in the Common Core uh, state standards. And so here is um, that presentation. So I've got that open. And then the second thing I want to do is I'm going to launch a website. So I'm going to open up, say, Firefox. And then the website is screencastomatic.com. So there it is. I'm at that. And then you're going to click the blue Start Recording button. So as I click the Start Recording button, it loads something called Java. Now, it's important if you don't have Java installed that you install the latest and greatest version of Java. Sometimes you get a little uh, delay. And then you're going to say Run. You have to say this a couple times, I believe. And say Continue. So there's a variety of things that work. Then you should get this box, this little dashed box right here. And what you've got is you can notice, first of all, that we've got in the bottom corner um, a picture of me. But I can drag this around and choose whatever size I want. I'm a fan of just going to the full screen. So I'm going to go full screen. And now you're going to get the webcam. You can now see me. And I'm going to click the red button. There's a couple of options. I make sure that you encourage that you find the appropriate microphone. And um, you're going to click the record button. And then I click the record button. It's going to hide the webcam. And anything that appears on my screen will be recorded. OK. So it's going to go give me a countdown. Three, two, one. And now the reason I wanted to have PowerPoint up is that I can quickly check the PowerPoint, go down here, and get to full screen. Now I can. It's going to record my PowerPoint. So I say the perfect match, flip learning in the Common Core. And I'm going to push the arrow button. You know, the arrow button right here. I press this and I say flip learning starts with one key question. What is the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? You've been hearing about this in the course. And you can get the idea. I can walk through the PowerPoint, my voice, my picture is recorded. And when I'm done, um, if you look down here, there's this screencast-o-matic button. And it may be a little different if you're on a PC versus a Macintosh. And I can now say option, so let's say pause recording. The recording is paused. Um, there's the record button. I can continue to record. Um, and then when I'm done, I can either restart, or in this case, I'll just say done. And it's going to give me my recording. Now notice, here's my recording. Now the reason I wanted to have the PowerPoint up is that I can quickly check the PowerPoint, go down here, and get to full screen. Now I can, it's going to record. So notice, anything that was on the screen is recorded. Now I've got some options. Publish to Screencast, and that's to their website. Publish to YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, just publish to YouTube. What we'll do is said publish it to a video file. This is going to save it on my computer, OK? So I'm going to save it to my computer. They've got a number of options. I'm just going to keep the defaults. I don't think there's any big deal. And I'm going to click Save Video. One other thing I'll note here is I can move this around. So I may want to move that around to Skosh. It's fine though where it is. I can click Save Video. It's going to ask me for a name. I'm going to call this um, Flip Test something like that, put it on my desktop, and click Save. And as the um, video is saving, it's giving me a certain number of percentages. It eventually will get done, and the video will then be in my hard drive. Now that the video is done, if you want to know, you can now go look on my hard drive. And here's the video on my hard drive, Flip Test. If I want to double click on it, it should open up and play that little video clip that I made. And there it is, and I can play it. Now the reason I wanted to have PowerPoint, get the idea. That video can then be um, uploaded to um, uh, a place like YouTube, etc. It really is that easy.